Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. And for $500,000, it cannot be your life. Okay. Um, one of my friends on Facebook posted something about when the people in India make hot food, they really make it hot. And I like hot food, just ask my wife over here. Um, so I thought I would, because then she shared a, a, a recipe, and it's a chicken recipe. And I'm like, oh. Yep. No, I was like, I don't eat no chicken. So I figured, I don't think I've talked about this in a video before, so I figure I'll go ahead and tell you why I don't eat chicken. See, I was, I don't know how old I was. I was in elementary school. That's all I remember. Um, my grandparents, they were the parents of my elementary school principal that I was going to at the time. I went to like a ton of elementary schools. Um, I went to every elementary school that school district had at that point. Now they have more, but by the time I finished elementary school, I had been to every elementary school that that school district had, which wasn't very many. It was a small rural town, but they had a few. Anyway, so I'd go out to my grandparents out in Hempstead, Hempstead, Texas, and you know, I'd spend the weekends out there or a couple of weeks out there or whatever. And my principal's name was Mrs. Hunt, Mrs. Jane Hunt. <clears throat> She's remarried. I don't know what her name is now, Franklin or something. Um, anyway, they had a, a farm out there. And like my mother's parents, they were actually very similar. Granddaddy had been a farmer, just like. My mom's dad had been a farmer. Grandmother had been a school teacher and a Sunday school teacher, just like my mom's mother had been. But my mother was from North Carolina, and my grandparents were from Texas. Well, I think they were from Texas. That's where they lived when I knew them. Anyway, they had a chicken coop, and they had horses. They had horses and chickens. And this old dog, really friendly dog, I used to sit there and pick ticks off of him and put him in the jar. It's a mason jar. It had oil in it, you know, like old motor oil. And I just, and do you know how to say all in Texas, in Texan? A-L-L, -L, all. That's oil in Texan. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So, you know, I, I mean, geez, I'm on a farm. And the closest neighbor is five miles away, and I didn't know him anyway. And my grandparents had a um, a, um, a party line, for those who know what a party line is. Everybody has, like, the same phone number. And if you get a phone call, and it'll ring at, like, the houses of 50 different people. And you pick up the phone, and you find out if it's for you or not. Like the the, it's more likely it's not for you because so many people have that you know use that same phone number, and that's how that was one way people used to find out what was going on with everybody. They'd pick it up and like this way. So. But um, yeah, but um, you know we had um, we had coyotes and and snakes and whatnot that would come up and and get the chickens. Well, the snakes wouldn't get the chickens; they get the eggs, and now, my wife's parents had actually raised chickens on a commercial level. My grandparents didn't do that. They just had enough chickens for them. Well, they weren't selling them at the grocery store. They were selling eggs. Oh. Uh, but my grandparents had, you know, enough chickens so they could have meat and they could have eggs. Well, you know, if a chicken's gone or if a horse is gone or if the dog's gone, you have to let an adult know. Because something could be up. You know, you, you had to make sure that, you know, you had to check the coop, make sure that, that no critters were getting in. They couldn't stop snakes from getting in there. They got a raccoon in there, and they'd eat the chickens. Oh, they would? I think they would. Too. I know there's one like that that's bad for killing the chickens. Fox. Fox. 
fox, yeah, fox, fox, and coyote. So yeah, we had fox as well. I imagine where raccoons wouldn't be too friendly either. Well, and um, now for those of you city folks, you know, you look at these critters. Oh, that's a cute little animal. You ain't lived in the country, have you? Those cute little animals are, are not always that cute and sweet. Um, well, chickens are kind of friendly. <laughs> well, I'm talking about with the wild things. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so I go down, you know, I mean, what was I going to do? I go down to the chicken coop to play with the chickens. Not like they were much fun to play with. I mean, they didn't, you know, pecking at the ground. And, but I was a kid. I was in the country. What was I going to do? They'll kind of follow you around. <laughs> yeah. So I get down there and there's this chicken missing. Uh-oh. So I walk back up to the house. I go in, I say, Grandma, there's a chicken missing. You, know, you have to let them know because, you know, something could be up. You know, maybe some critter got in there and got the chicken. And if so, you have to go down there and you have to fix a coop to try and keep it from happening again. And so, no problem. Yeah, and some, some people will actually go out there and try and find whatever killed it and then kill it. You know, I don't think that's necessary, but um, unless it keeps coming back time and time again but um anyway so I tell grandma and she she says you remember what you had for breakfast this morning oh so that's where chicken comes from yeah so after that I stopped eating chicken I will eat it on a rare occasion especially if I'm really hungry Poke it down yeah, but as a general rule, I don't eat chicken. But um, I enjoyed those those times out there at my grandparents. There was a a pond in the back. It was a natural pond. Um, there was a stream that ran through their property, and it formed a pond back in the in the back. And there were two houses, a barn, a stables, and the stable was where they had the chicken coop on the other end of the stable. And um, the, the tack room had an old carriage in there, but it was it needed to be fixed up. But Mr. Hunt, from what I was told, uh, hauled it out into the field and burned it. But I'm like, you know, you could have fixed that thing up and probably got some money for it. But, yeah, um, but. but um, there was the, the front field. And then there were essentially two backfields. The front field they farmed, or once farmed, not when I was, I mean, they were retired. But um, then you had the field between the two houses and the stables and the pond. And they didn't do anything with that. It just went fallow. And then back behind the pond was a bigger field because they used to farm that as well. And... Um, I had I used to have this picture. Mrs. Hunt was working the, the pedals on the tractor and I'm sitting in her lap and I'm steering and she's just sunning herself with a bikini and everything. And I'm steering the tractor, you know, cutting the the, the weeds or whatever in the front field and you <laughs> don't know, run over anybody. Yeah, and she says, I, hey, you were doing really good. I was like, Wow, really? Oh, that's that's pretty good. Keep the dog out of the way. Yeah. Oh, you know, um, I think he's got brains enough to. Yeah. <laughs> I think the dog probably kept some of the bigger critters away. You know, the fox and. He's probably a pretty good sized dog. Yeah, he was the, like a German Shepherd. Yeah, not just a little one. Yeah. Um, I always hated it. We'd drive up. You know, the chickens would be out in front of the house, and would drive up, and they wouldn't slow down for the chickens. They never hit a chicken. The chickens actually had the smarts to get out of the way, but I always like, oh no, you're gonna run over a chicken. But anyway, so. You no, know, if my parents would come home and I would have the little chickens outside, they'd honk. Oh. Just scare the chickens and make them. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, when I was in, when I used to work. Always on, got one that's a little dingy. Yeah. <laughs> when I worked on a ranch in Texas. What we would do to let the cattle know that we were coming to feed them, honk, honk, honk. And the oh, cattle. Moo. Yeah, they hear that. They're, oh, I know what that means. They're bringing me some food. Yeah, so bring the well. Yeah, so we fed them hay, these uh, nutrition pellets, and 
um, cubes of um, dry alfalfa. They didn't like that. They didn't like the dry alfa the alfalfa cubes at all. They they loved the the nutrition they probably tablets. Probably liked fresh alfalfa better. Yeah, and they ate the hay. They ate the the nutrition tablets or whatever you want to call them. It was a commercial feed, and but the the alfalfa tablets they just or cubes. Yeah, they were dry, and it yeah. was it was the Texas Hill Country. It was dry up there and hot, so. Last thing they need is something dry. Yeah. And hard as a brick. Yeah. So, anyway, well, that's all I wanted to talk about. Bye.